Hello and welcome to this video for Excel chapter 3 hands-on exercise number 3. So number 3. We're on page 580 of your textbook, page 580, 580. And we're going to get started with chart design and we're going to be working with spark lines today. Spark lines. And spark lines are a great, a great way to show us kind of the idea of a win-loss situation um, in just a small um, area. So um, they're very useful for portraying a lot of information without using up a lot of space. And so step A, it says we need to open up this file, E03H2Jobs, and we're going to save it with, of course, a new name. So file, save as, we're choosing browse, and then we are switching, of course, from H2 to H3. I'm going to push enter to save it. And that's step A, very simple there. Step B it says click the Outlook Sheet tab. So down here, Outlook Sheet tab. And we're choosing to click the bar chart to select it. Now mine's already selected if you need to click on it to do that. And I'll actually click once just so that way. Um, you can see I had 1,000 selected as well. So I just click the chart area. Then it says step C, click Chart Styles to the right of the chart. Now this is Chart Elements. And this is chart style. So I click on that. It's that paintbrush. And it says point to style number two. And I'm going to have to, it looks like hover over these so I can see this is style one and this is style two. So it's this middle one right here, style two. You point to it and then you click it. And then it says click chart styles to close the gallery. So I click it again to get rid of that. And of course now it's changed our chart to look like this. Very simple for step number one. Step two, we're going to apply some chart filters. Step A, it says click the column chart sheet tab. So we are on Outlook, we need to switch to column chart sheet tab, excuse me, this one. And it says click chart fillers or filters <laughs> on the right of the chart area. So chart elements, chart styles, and chart filters. I click on that. B, point to the various filter options to see a preview of the filter data. So you can choose how you want to limit what is shown. So right now everything's selected to show. But we can limit it. Click the number of new jobs checkbox in the series group to deselect it. So here's series. I'm going to click on the box to get rid of the checkbox there or the check in the box. And then I need to click apply in the bottom left. And you can see it went and eliminated that series. Then step C it says click the programmer's checkbox to deselect the box. So programmers over here, that's in the categories group. I'm clicking on the box to deselect it. And I'm going to click apply. And you can see it got rid of that. Click chart filters to close the menu right up here and it says save your workbook so we're going to do that save the workbook all right we're breezing through this on the last step here very simple exercise step three insert and customize spark lines and we're going to do that so step a click the outlook sheet tab back to the outlook sheet tab and it says select cell d6 so i'm going to have to go up here click on it so right under number of new jobs 120,000 400 and it says click the insert arrow in the cells group oh so I actually need to go over to cells group insert arrow and insert sheet columns it says is what we need to select so I'm going to click on that then it says click the insert tab up here and we're going to click line in the spark lines group. So spark lines group is over here about in the middle basically and we're going to choose line. Then it says for data select B6 through C12. So B6 through C12 you can see how it looks there the data I selected to enter that in the range for the or the data range box. Then it says step D press tab which takes me to the location range box and it says select the range D6 through D12 so this is asking us where do we want to place the spark lines so we selected the range the data we wanted to analyze and then this is us choosing where we want it to go 
and it says to click OK. And we have here our spark lines that look like this. Step E, click the markers checkbox in the show group to select it. So up here, um, you can see we're on Sparkline Tools, Design tab, and in the show group, there's the markers box. So click on it, it's going to show the markers there. You can see my chart looks different now. And then it says click the Sparkline style, dark number six. So I'm going to click over here at Styles group, I'm going to click the more arrow. Sparkline style, dark number six. So let's. Oh, let me. I may have to zoom out here so I can see it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of my magnifier for a second. Oh, let me try that again. Okay, let me look here. Oh yeah, so this is it right here in the group. This one. All right, I click on that. You can see it change it. I'm gonna bring my magnifier back up. Then. It says step F, click Sparkline Color in the Style Group. So Sparkline Color, and it says to choose red in the Standards Color section, which is this one right here. So we did change it, but we changed it back again, basically. Step G, it says click Axis in the Group Group, So which is funny to think about. Over here is our group, which is called Group. So the Group Group. We're going to click Axis. And then it says click Same for all spark lines. So we're going to go down here to the vertical axis minima. Or let me actually double check here. Um, yeah, so go to the vertical axis minimum value options and click Same for all spark lines. And then it says click Axis again and click Same for all spark lines in the vertical axis minimum options again. So it looks like we're just look, doing it to see it and then we change it back. Step H, it says to save and close the file. So we've finished our hands-on exercises. Let me go back and look at these for you so you can see them. There's our spark lines there. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit so you can see um, the new information in our chart or how it looks. I'm gonna click on the combo chart. Didn't really change that one yet. Um, we do have the pie chart, which looks like this, and then of course the column chart as well. So, and that is how you complete Excel Chapter 3, hands on exercise number 3.